I've been an online tutor for quite a few years now and during that time I've realised that there are a few problems facing everyone in the industry, whether you're a private tutor or you run a consultancy business online, whatever it is, there are a few problems that are common to all of us. Now there's scheduling appointments, receiving payments and communicating with clients. Now in this video I'm going to talk through an all-in-one solution that fixes pretty much all of those problems for you and that is Worky. Using Worky, online tutors or online consultants can set up a website, can create a portal for booking clients, booking jobs and arranging meetings. They can take all of their clients' payments and communicate with their clients. Worky even lets you host your videos on the website itself. Big thanks to Worky for sponsoring this video. I'm really excited to jump straight in with you guys, show you how quick and simple it is to set up a Worky account, set up your own website and start earning money from clients. To demonstrate to you just how quick and easy it is to get set up with Worky, we're going to go and jump in as if we've just made a new website. So you sign up with Worky with your email, you set a password, and you go straight to this page here. I've already been using Worky a little bit. I want to play around with it, get to know the features before I show it to you. But we're going to show you how to sit, get started. The first step when you come to using Worky is to set your domain name. And doing that is incredibly easy. We go to the website builder, which when you sign up with Worky is already fully populated for you and you can go in and edit it and change it at any time. The first step we're gonna take is to set our domain name. Now for this one, for this trial, I've set mine as Connor Worky, and anyone who I give that link to, which is my.worky.net slash Connor Worky, will be able to go to my website once I put it live. So we're gonna use that domain. Now, there are three basic templates that you can use when you're setting up your Worky website and we can have a look at what any of those look like here. So we would go into the style section and we'd have a look at the template. So there is the one with the most functionality, which I think is definitely the best, which is the automatic one they give you, which they call basic. Now in the basic one, you get to do all of these amazing things, all of this functionality, and it takes roughly 10, 15 minutes to set up. There is a slightly more basic, more minimal version than that, which take, is even quicker to set up, and all you would do is put in the things here. And there is the, the most simple of all of them, which is just like a landing page or a business card, like they say here. And that is incredibly quick. Probably takes even less than three minutes to get set up with, in all honesty. I like the basic because it lets you do all of these amazing things. And that means I can show you how to do all of these amazing things. On top of that, you can change the accent color. So I can, we can see as we scroll over these different colors, we get different colors of the, the name and the, the interactable buttons, which change. I like this shade of blue. I think that's really nice and calming. And then lastly, in terms of the things we can edit, we can change the text. So this Railway and Source Sans Pro is the automatic one. I've had a look through all of the rest of them. I think if you're feeling particularly funky, you might go for another one, but I think the one they automatically give you is probably the best. So that's how we change the colors and the style and the layout. Everything else that you see on this page is completely customizable. So in our header, we could choose to have either some text here or a logo if you have your own logo for your business. In this hero section of the page, we can set a picture. So I've got a picture of myself here. You can put a title on here. You can put a little bit about yourself and there's some space for a little bio as well. And then underneath there, we have these automatic book me buttons, which are really important. We're gonna talk about those in a second. And then we have an option to ask me a question, which would generate an email link so that someone could send me an email. Just below that, we have this big send me an email button. So you can put in whatever email address you would like people to be sending uh, questions or queries to you on. You can put in a phone number if you so choose, or you can even put in a location. That also gives you an opportunity there to put in all of your social media um, links so that people can go straight to whatever social media you'd like to direct them to. So I would definitely put my YouTube link in here, for example. The section below is an about me section and you have the option to toggle this on or off. Um, I like to have it on and just give a little bit of detail about who I am and the services that I offer. The hero and the about me section are your opportunity to show off who you are and really sell yourself to the client. It's your front facing 
area of the website where you get to show off. The other two areas where you get to show off who you are and you get to entice clients to book you are the skills and the experience section. So those two sections of this template allow you to demonstrate to your client your previous positions, previous places where you've had experience in whatever it is that you're demonstrating that you can do, and where you get to show off about your skills. And you can say here, so for example, if you were a business consultant and you were helping people with their Excel spreadsheets or whatever business people do, and one of your skills is using Excel spreadsheets, you would put that in here. Onto the bit that everyone is interested in, and that is getting paid and making money. There are amazingly two ways to make money from your Worky website. The first of all is bookings, and that is time slots with clients. And the second one is jobs, and that is a single payment for a product or a service, um, something like writing someone's bio or proofreading a project for someone. We're gonna talk through the booking section first. So you will have noticed dotted around this page is this book me button. And that is the button that clients would press in order to book some time with you. If we head to the booking tab on the left hand side of our worky website, we get to create our own schedule and organize our work life. So there's three parts to this. There is the availability, there is the time slots that you can create, and there is the video call section. So let's talk through the availability first. My availability is exactly what it sounds like. You are telling Worky when you are available for clients to book sessions with you. So I've already pre-populated this with the times that I like to work. So I already work a nine to five in a hospital, um, but when I get home on a Wednesday or a Thursday, I'm happy to have meetings with uh, clients, you know, tutoring for exams between 6.30 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. Those on Wednesday and Thursday nights. And I already work on a Sunday. I've got regular students who I teach on a Sunday. And so I'm happy to work between three and 8 p.m. on a Sunday afternoon. That's what works for me. Creating a new schedule is incredibly easy. All we would do is we would add a new schedule. We would select the days that it applies to. So let's say we're gonna make a schedule for a Monday and a Tuesday. And we select the times when we're available to work. So let's say you were happy to work Monday and Tuesday mornings from 9 a.m. until 12. You want to have a lunch break, say between 12 and one, and then you'd be happy to work again from one until four, or whatever it is that works for you. Now that we've created our work schedule, we've created the availability that we have typically in a week, we have the opportunity to create overrides because life is complex. Um, I'm going away on holiday in a couple of weeks and I know that I won't be able to work any of these days and so I don't want clients to have the availability to book with me. I'm not available so I want to take it off my availability but I don't want to take my entire website down. I don't want to remove the days that I normally could work. So what I'll do is I'll choose some dates that I know I can't work. So let's say I'm going away um, this week. I'm going to select the days that I'm away and it's not letting me select the Friday and the Saturday because I don't work on Friday and Saturday anyway, according to the schedule. And so now nobody will be able to book any sessions with me from the 19th of February to the 23rd of February because I've said I'm not available. On top of that, you can also make yourself unavailable for particular set times. So for example, let's say on Tuesday this week, on a Tuesday, I normally am available nine till 12 and one till four. But actually on next Tuesday, I'm only gonna be available from one until three. So now that's overridden and on February the 7th, I'm only available from between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. Similarly, you can do this the other way around. So let's say I don't normally work um, in the morning on a Wednesday, but let's say on Wednesday the 8th, I would quite like to work in the morning and I can set that and I can say, well, from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m., I will be available on Wednesday. And now clients would be able to book that with me. So this gives you a huge amount of flexibility and just precision control over your time and when you are available to work and when you're available to make money. 
Once you've set your once you've set your availability, you've edited the days that you can and can't work, you've put in the hours you'd like to work. We then go over to the time slots tab. Now the time slots tab is the sessions that you offer clients. Now I've already made these three. These are typically what I would do with my clients. We have a free 15 minute phone call where we can talk about what we do. We have a standard one hour session and we have a slightly cheaper two hour session for an extended lesson. Making any of these, again, just like everything else on Worky, really easy. We create a meeting title Let's say this is a half hour session. You'd add just a little description of what you might expect someone to do in that time. You set the amount of time that that will take and you can set that as either a free or a paid option. So let's say this is a paid option and if an hour was going to be 50 pounds, we could say half an hour is gonna be 30 pounds or whatever currency you use. And you have complete control over how you're paid so you can choose to connect or create a new paypal or stripe account to be paid through worky for this money you're earning as quick as that we've created another option for people to book with us last but not least in the booking section we have the video calls tab and the video calls tab is just going to be when someone books with you what type of meeting are you having now i would recommend that you do what i've done here and stick with the worky video calls it's free, you don't need to attach your Google Meet or your Zoom account, you don't have to pay for any third-party video accounts, and it, you can do everything that you would need to do in a video call. As simple as that, we've created our availability, our schedule when we would like to work in the week, we've created the type of slots that people can book with us, which we're going to be paid for, and we've set up a way to meet those people with the video calls tab. Now I said there were two ways to get paid through Worky, the first one being bookings and you know exchanging your time for money, setting up your schedule like this. And the other way was with pre-made jobs. Now currently the jobs tab comes with the, the pro section, which is in beta and is free for everyone to use. And the way that you set up a job with Worky is we go onto here and we manage our jobs. In these two tabs, that would be where you would manage the jobs that people have bought and purchased off you, but we can set up our own jobs. Now the job is a service that you offer that requires a one-off payment so it's not where you're exchanging time and meeting with someone uh, for me i might use this if people wanted some help with applications or something and they wanted me to look through it or they wanted some help with an essay and they wanted me to read their essay for them for example just like with the booking section it's so easy to make a job click the button on here we're going to write whatever the job is let's say this is a proofreading job that i might do and let's say it's max 5,000 words and we're going to say that would be i don't know we're going to put in a random number here 100 pounds as easy as that, we have a new job added. So that's the two ways we can get paid, with someone making a booking and with someone selecting a job service. I'm gonna show you the website. I'm gonna show you what this would look like for a client, for a prospective student or someone who wants to book your time. So anyone with my Worky link, they would just follow the Connor Worky URL and they'd be landing on my page like this. And it's got all of the information we've added in here. It's got my about me section. It's got my hero here. It's got these two tabs which I've currently clicked on. I can click those off and they won't be shown anymore. It's got this proofreading for an essay which someone could purchase if they so chose. And it's got this really important book me button. If someone pressed on book me, they would be offered the four different types of session I generally offer. So here's the three that I already had made and here's the other one we made earlier. So let's say you're a new student meeting with me, they would just press on that. Now, they come to the bookings and they can see what my availability is each day of the week. You'll notice that people cannot book on that week that we sectioned off because we said that was away. And people are able to book on this Wednesday differently to the other Wednesdays because I deliberately said that I was available at different times on that Wednesday. So this person's gonna meet with me just as a demonstration on this 3 p.m. People would just put their name in and their email and a bit of information and press book. And both the client and myself would receive an email with a link to the call and it would come up on my calendar. It's so simple, it takes all of the stress out of booking with clients. It puts the decision-making in their hands and all you need to do is sit back, let people book with you and turn up to the meeting. And because you've linked either your Stripe payments or your PayPal, you get paid for it with no work. It's really good. 
just as a demonstration, I'll show you what it would look like if we followed those other templates. So we will show you the basic, which has all of those features. If we choose to use the minimal basic one, it exports all of that information I already put over. And this time if someone were to visit my website, they would have the about me section. They would have this little image over here, my headline and my about my bio. They would still have the jobs and services and the contact details. We don't have the skills tab or the experience tab anymore, but there's still a huge amount we can customize. We can change the colors in much more dramatic way. And if we go to the business card, there's a little bit less that people are able to do. This time we don't have the jobs section, but people can still book with me. People can still get in contact with me and people can still see my contact details down here. So whatever works for you, there is a huge amount of different options that people can use. I like the basic. I like having all of these different features available to me and being able to use both of those ways to get paid through Worky. I've had experience making websites with various different other website builders. And for me, this is by far the easiest to use and the most intuitive and the quickest, which is really important. So you can see just how easy it is to get set up with Worky and just how much Worky can do for you all for free currently. Some of the best things I found while playing around in Worky and setting up my own website was definitely that it's completely free to use, that there is 0% commission on those payments that you can take through Stripe or through PayPal, that you're able to schedule and book and create video calls for appointments all without you having to even be involved. The client just does it when they book an appointment and that all of your payments for these bookings that you're taking is automated and all done within the website. This massively takes the stress out of probably the most difficult part of running an online business and lets you focus on your interactions with the clients and delivering a good service. It's practically like having a free virtual assistant. If this sounds like the right thing for you, if you would like to get started with Worky, take all of the stress and anxiety out of getting set up and booking clients, then sign up to Worky using the link in the description below.